Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to talk about sustainable development goals within the EcoThings project. Uh, the United Nations in 2015 uh, adopted uh, an agenda for sustainable development goals that basically provides a blueprint for peace, prosperity for people on the planet for now but also for the future. Uh, they defined 17 sustainable development goals and there was a, an urgent call for action uh, for all the countries, including developed countries but also developing countries. And they end up by recognizing uh, poverty and many other deprivations that uh, we must uh, in, uh, implement the strategies to improve health, education, reduce inequality, also improve the economic growth, but also uh, tackling the, the climate change uh, to preserve our oceans and under forests. They basically uh, provide a, a universal language and framework for sustainability, uh, and they are a comprehensive, a comprehensive uh, global framework to address social and economic and environmental changes. Uh, they are interconnected to, for balanced development within all the countries and they uh, forest uh, the global operation between countries and in the end they also uh, provide measurable targets and specific indicators in order to monitor the progress and accountability of these goals. So how EcoThinks is connected to these sustainable development goals? So the objectives of EcoThinks include modernizing the education through innovative pedagogical approaches, also enhancing students to uh, develop soft skills and an environmental awareness, and ensuring that uh, digital education is uh, accessible for uh, all students and particularly for students uh, at risk of, of social exclusions because of uh, the kind of uh, activities we have developed within the project. So now I'm going to uh, relate or describe, briefly describe how these goals are actually related with the project. So one of the, the goals, or the main goals I mean, so one of the, 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 the goals was uh, development, sustainable development one, no poverty, and in the end uh, in the project, we try to uh, uh, accomplish with the goal by providing a low heating uh, and cooling cost associated with passive houses. So we can tackle uh, the, the fuel uh, poverty in this case. Also, passive houses, uh, which are part of the development of the, the project, <coughs> uh, also uh, 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 aims to provide jobs uh, in architecture, material design, renewable energy, uh, building construction, and of course that will uh, include uh, indirectly or affect indirectly to this uh, sustainable development goal. Also, uh, sustainable development goal number three, which is um, good health and well-being, in particular because we uh, we pursue to uh, uh, within the, the intelligent house we're going to develop. We push uh, a, a, a thermal comfort and um, not particularly in the project we have developed uh, those systems but many passive houses they include high air quality uh, systems. We, we include one of uh, obtaining this, the, 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 um, the air within the, the house uh, from under, underground and of course that could include some kind of filtering system to improve the quality of air and that might have an impact uh, on, the, on, on the health because uh, indoor air is free of pollens and, uh, and we can reduce the rate of illnesses and respiratory, respiratory issues. Also, of course, we uh, pursue this uh, sustainability development goal for uh, quality education by modernizing the education and providing innovative, innovative uh, pedagogical approaches uh, to enhance uh, students' soft skills and um, also to enhance the students' environmental awareness. Also, we develop this course uh, so we can uh, provide interactive learning activities 
and also we focus part of our activities were focused to to students uh, at risk of social exclusion and also for professionals in this case teachers uh, we develop material uh, to support them in programming and electronics also in the industry uh, passive houses have uh, an impact uh, because they are innovative and they are closely linked with within research and, uh, and practices to develop cost-effective uh, uh, solutions and also by integrating IoT, Internet of Things and eco-technology within the curriculum of, uh, of, uh, of uh, a pedagogical, uh, from this novel pedagogical approach we consider that uh, we foster innovation in, in students too, so they can be somehow motivated in order to uh, adopt uh, the, 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 these changes on technology and uh, in the future. Also, uh, Sustainability Development 10 uh, to reduce inequalities, particularly uh, we mentioned that before, we specifically target students at risk of social exclusion in one of the activities that we, we developed uh, within the project. And also we provide uh, digital education and enhancing soft skills through different kind of activities. And of course, uh, also uh, sustainable, uh, sustainable Development Goal number 12, which is Responsible Consumption and Production. This has to do with the, uh, with the energy uh, within passive houses by reducing the energy demand. So that uh, will minimize the waste and promote uh, an efficient uh, resource use, and in general, will uh, teach within uh, within the classroom. Will teach students to adopt uh, sustainable uh, practices and also uh, the importance of responsible consumption. And sustainability development number thirteen: climate action. In the project, the project basically it's really with eco uh, technology. So how this technology uh, has an impact on mitigating the climate change, and this awareness is important for students as well, and also particularly uh, again by focusing on passive houses as we do in the project, we minimize the energy consumption and uh, and try to indirectly. Uh, reduce uh, gas emissions. And finally, this development goal, number 17, which is partnership uh, for the goals, in particular because this is an Erasmus project, uh, uh, we have uh, a partnership between um, uh, companies and, uh, and organizations from different countries, Romania, uh, Turkey, Cyprus and Spain, and we are uh, collaborating together, or we have collaborated together in order to achieve these goals. And of course, indirectly, there are other sustainability development goals that could be uh, related with the project. I mentioned them here, but we have not specifically in the project work on them, but we consider that they are somehow related, like number six and number seven, in which many passive houses, as we try to inspire the students in our project, uh, many passive houses they uh, they pursue these uh, sustainability development goals. Although in the project, due to the electronics we use, we are not particularly uh, pushing them, but we can extend these uh, goals in the future. And of course, by implementing in a proper way these passive houses, we can have an impact in uh, life below water, but also on the land and forests. And of course, if these kind of solutions were implemented in large scale they could have an, imp uh, an impact on cities and communities and also an impact on economy and work. Well, this presentation uh, has presented the sustainable, sustainable Development Goals uh, within the EcoThings project. Thank you very much.